John asks a question. Due to circumstances beyond my control with work and the fact that I contracted the coronavirus, I've been unable to lift regularly for almost a month. I'm sorry, John. Right before things changed at work, I deadlifted 305 for 10 reps. I was going to attempt a one rep max aiming for double body weight the week after this, but was unable due to current events. How do you recommend I ease back into heavy lifting? You know, I'm not sure high reps, and this is just this is the, just me talking, high rep deadlifts carry over to max deadlifts. I think high rep squats do. That's my experience with myself and with the athletes I've worked with and the information from friends. But in deadlifts, uh, I think back to the late, great Lane Cannon, who deadlifted 405 for 20 reps and then gave himself a couple weeks and failed with a 425 deadlift because since he was doing at the time it was called hit high intensity training is that you get really really good at kind of you know blowing blood vessels out of your eyes and you know straining this and uh, getting you know you know grinding your teeth down but you don't actually get good at maxing um generally what i always tell people uh when when you when John, when this is over, you get back into the weight room, you're gonna find on day one that you're probably eighty percent at most you've you've lost twenty percent. I mean that would be at the most. Almost everybody comes back in and their pure strength levels are at eighty to ninety percent of where they left off. That's the great insight from my friend Glenn Passy, by the way, but that's we'll talk about that another time. But what happens is your soreness level, uh, it's like you forgot. The delayed onset muscle soreness, it's like your body forgot what soreness was and they want to read. And you get so sore. So what you might find is that your first day back, you're going to be strong. And your reps are going to be kind of right there. But the next day and two days later, you're going to be far sorer than you have been in a long time. So what I'm going to kind of tell you is, you know, kind of allow yourself some glide the first couple of maybe week or so. Do do the movements. Don't be afraid to load things up, but stay as far away from failure as you can. Um, generally, I think you should keep a couple of reps in the tank. Maybe that first week or so, think you know uh, if you can do if you can do ten with it, do five. Um, but it is going to be strange. A lot of people are going to discover this. You're going to be weirdly sore when you come back. Uh, of course, your mileage may vary, but that's kind of a truism for most people. I'm sure there's a hand going up right now. I did it and I didn't get sore. Yeah, and we all hate you. All right, so good luck to you, John. And uh, yeah, and if you could give me some feedback if I was right or wrong on that, I'd appreciate it. And let's get that double body weight uh, deadlift, okay?